Good morning everybody, welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm excited to be with you here today and today is Training Tip Tuesday. And my wife Stacy and I are up here on the top of the Rockies riding horseback doing a day trip just uh, just checking out some of the country that our sheep are going to be visiting this summer and some of the country that we're going to be taking people on trips up here for a Colorado Rocky Mountain horseback riding uh, camping and sheep herding experience of a lifetime and we're very excited to be starting that this next summer and and for my for today is Tuesday so it's training tip Tuesday and I wanted to talk because we're up here and we're, we're up here high in the Rockies and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about preparation and being prepared you know uh, last year or a couple years ago we invited some people to come up here and, and go for go on this trip with us for three days so it's three day two night trip in the Rockies and we're, we're very remote up here. It's, it can take as much as seven or eight hours or, or longer to get down to, uh, to cell service or to, to somebody that can help you out to a road. And so we're pretty remote and so you have to be prepared. Now when we tell people what to bring and we say these are absolute necessities that you have to bring, that's what we mean. They, there's necessities that you have to bring up here and if you don't have them you're going to put your your life at risk because it gets so cold. The weather can change up here in, a, in an instant. You know today is July 7th or something um, or 7th or 8th and it can it can change. The weather can change so quickly. It can be nice and warm one instant and then the next instant it can or instance it can be uh, really cold and, and it can start raining. It can start hailing. It could even start snowing up here, and there's even pockets of snow still up here high in the Rockies. We're about 12,000 feet right now, close to 12,000 feet, and we go as high as 13,000 feet. But most of the camps are around, you know, anywhere between 10,500 and 12,000, something like that. But it is very high, and, and there's a lot of the weather can change quickly, and you have to be prepared. And one of the things <laughs> to, to be prepared is to have the right clothing. So you have to have some warm clothing um, to go underneath, and then you have to have some, literally some winter clothes that you want to wear, so or that you want to take with you. And you'll just pack them on the back of your saddle, but you want a, a nice heavy coat, you want a, a lighter jacket, so you can kind of tolerate the cooler weather up here, but, but you don't need a heavy coat. But there are times when you do need a winter coat up here, and you need winter gloves. So we, we, um, we ask that people bring winter gloves, winter coats, and then also, um, I, I wear irrigating boots and, and you can wear as long as they are water resistant shoes or water resistant boots with heels, that's good enough. But I'll tell you one time I got supposedly water resistant boots and, um, and it rained and hailed for like two days straight and I, my feet were soaking wet. So the best thing actually is I get, I get some irrigating boots that are pretty comfortable and I can walk in them. And that's what I use up here for the most part. I use irrigating boots with heels that I can ride my horse in on. And um, that way if I have to get off and it's raining real hard or hailing or even snowing, I can walk in those and not get wet. Because the key up here to staying safe as far as the weather is concerned is to not get wet. If you get wet, then you're gonna get really cold and you can get to the point where you get hypothermia. And so we, uh, we've been doing this for 40 or 50 years as as a family and I myself have been up here over 30 years been doing this and so we're when we tell you what to what to bring make sure you bring what we say because it's very very important to keep yourself protected from the weather up here it's beautiful country I love being up here I can't wait to share this with some of you and look forward to doing that let me just show you a little bit of the view in front of me right now right in front of me is a little lake called Dollar Lake we're headed down to that right now. And then we're in, we're, we're close to what we call West Virginia Gulch. And that, that's a place where we're camping right now and the sheep are not far from there. So we, thanks, for, thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, stay safe in the saddle.